right, you guys, here's the 3D printing setup. And yes, this is in my dining room. It's not very conventional, but whatever. So here's my first 3D printer that I bought almost a year ago. This printer has over a thousand hours on it. It works awesome. The only thing I've had to replace is one motor cable. And as you can see, I still need to rewire it through all that BS, but whatever. I upgraded to a glass bed for that mirror finish, which I'm gonna do on the other printers that I'll show you here in a second. But it is a replica to the Flash Forge, but these things are like 600 some odd dollars for shipped per unit. So you can't go wrong with that because I think the Flash Forge is like eight or 900 bucks. And when we scale to multiple printers, you know, all that 200 bucks a unit really, really adds up. And so about a week ago, I ordered a few more. So we got another Kitty Tech. This is the new upgraded model. As you can see, it has like a slanted LCD and the SD card is in the back right there compared to right up front. But I'm very happy with it. It also has these little side doors that can go up and down, mainly for cooling purposes, which this model does not have. But as you can see, we got three more. They're just printing little benchies. I don't have any cooling fans on them yet, so it's not the best quality benchy, but I just wanted to make sure that they print okay, and they definitely are. Once I get the fan on, it'll be perfect. Then for shelving, I bought these for like $50 a pop off of eBay or Amazon. I'll link the, the product below in the description if you guys want to check it out, but this is how I plan to scale everything, you know, modular. As demand goes up, you know, I can just order another set of shelving, four more printers for, you know, less than 2,500 bucks, and then we got another unit. But hopefully by then we'll be out of the dining room and this thing will be back to normal. Then over here we got two FT5s. These things are still a little work in progress. This one prints. I just got to do a little bit of work to the new uh, Titan Arrow. That little guy is awesome and definitely worth the money. Then this FT5, I haven't even tried printing it yet. I bought it from some guy on Craigslist for dirt cheap. Like it had extra parts on it that were way more than what I bought it for. There's a Volcano Block, E3D V6, Titan Extruder. And then I guess online you can buy just the Titan Arrow adapter. So I'll form those two together and have it just like this. I'm gonna remove this front cross bracket like on that one. And then I need to do something about the Z because this bed is so big, sometimes it levels unevenly. So I have a BL touch I'm gonna to try to use and I'll probably do another video on that and how that works. Then up here is where I can do some CAD work super easily, it's eye level. So I can just stand up here, get work done. I use Fusion 360 mostly, but I got 123D design up right now. Graph paper. Here's some bases I printed just to kind of show the scale. These were printed on that FT5, which is pretty sweet. But I'm really happy with how this has turned out. There's where I can stash all the filament, my printer for shipping labels, and there's some extra boxes that came with the printers for filament. But if you see it the way I do, as demand goes up, like I was saying, I can just order this whole thing again and just stack them in a shop or office but for now this is more than plenty and I'm very happy with how it turned out because I can print ABS, PLA and then for exotic filaments I can use the FT5s here pretty soon. I want to do a few videos on these because I really like these guys they just need a lot of work right now but these will do exotic filaments and larger prototypes where this side will do smaller prototypes and even small production runs so people don't have to order from like China and stuff just for a few items. And then what's cool about these two, they also have uh, two extruders. Yeah, I know the print looks terrible. I gotta put the fan on. That's where the fan goes and I don't even have it on right now. Looks pretty sweet. <laughs> 